So one of the things we found in our study of innovation is something we call the invention myth. The invention myth is, is the, the belief that all innovation begins with an idea or, or some kind of invention. So uh, if we invent an artifact, there's usually an idea associated with that. So we're safe in saying the invention myth is the, of the belief that, we, that all innovation begins with an idea. And we have seen many counterexamples to that. We have many examples of innovations that seem to well up spontaneously in a community and nobody presented an idea first. We've seen many uh, innovations that were spontaneous and later on in the story that people told about why they were successful, they created the idea and said, that's the, what drove the innovation. And it isn't. And the reason this is important is it, it gets in the way. You, if you don't see what you need to do to drive the adoption of the practice, you'll never, it'll just look like a mystery to you. You'll, you'll always be stuck thinking about the ideas that you've got or the ideas that you've seen and wondering why nobody is working with them. So part of what we do is we break that, we break through that and we show you what you can do. What are the practices that let you move past the notion that everything begins with an idea. And what will you get from that? It's going to allow you to shake off the shackles that have bound you and kept you from finding your own goals and being able to achieve what you want to achieve within your community of practice. And that means, you know, you may have shackled yourself by saying, I'm not an idea person. And we'll show you why that doesn't matter. And you might say, I don't have any patents to my name. And we'll show you why that doesn't exclude you from being part of this innovation community. And we want you to understand when you walk away from this course that the invention myth has been holding you back from making the offers to others that would make your world a better place. <laughs>